Okay. It sounds better without the door. <laughs> yeah. Say again? A bit throaty, that one. I know. It's just like... The other one sounds good now. Huh? The other one sounds bad. When you turn the bottom end down, it sounds very That's the, that's the clean So we're on to solo album four. Give us some insight into the direction you're pursuing for it. Yeah, well, it's the same band. So it's it's um, Guthrie Govan guitar, Marco Miniman drums, Nick Beggs bass, Adam Holtzman on keyboards. Theo is is involved in the record, although less so. And that's no reflection on him. That's simply because I've written less for Saxon flute this time. And I think generally this album has probably got much less. Uh, of the of the perhaps the jazz strong jazz element that the last record had. In some ways it seems like the next step to me from The Raven, but whereas The Raven was fairly consistent in tone, because it had such a strong sort of concept and also I kind of was very much into that idea of making an album that sounded like it almost could have been made in 1972, like a real vintage, um, old school progressive rock album and and I think we did that and, and I'm really proud of, of we did you know the fact we did that and did it did it pretty well but now I'm looking again to, to maybe bring in some of the other elements from my you know my, my musical uh, repertoire as it were so we've got you know we've got electronic music on the air we've got we've got a couple of real almost straightforward for me anyway straightforward pop tunes But we've also got three tracks that are long, more progressive influence tracks too. So in some ways it feels almost like a, um, uh, a combination of all my solo work and maybe all my work, you know, overall is kind of all somehow represented in this album. But can't ignore the cross. 